Hey there, and welcome to another video in the Lunar Academy Playable series. Today we're going to be covering code compilation. Before we get started, it's important that we briefly go over how Lunar works, as this will help you understand how to maximize your output with Lunar. In order for your game code to run on the Lunar engine, it needs to be converted to JavaScript. To do this, Lunar uses transpiling. Lunar contains a set of .NET libraries that are compatible with the Unity engine DLL on an API level. That means that your code can be written as if it was going to run on the Unity engine whilst minimizing changes. Of course, this is important to understand as Luna does not support 100% of Unity's APIs. This is largely by design. Many APIs are far too heavy or obsolete for the web environment. And also due to prioritization, we're focused on bringing you the most valuable APIs with great performance and stability. So let's talk through the suggested workflow and we'll show you how to use the Luna UI. By default, all the scripts in the project will be included in the compilation. Please be aware that your options in the basic settings UI are only for assets and not for scripts. So to start with, we recommend that you exclude any scripts that you know will not be needed. For example, editor scripts or example scripts that often come with plugins or asset packs. Of course, you don't need to start here, but it'll save you some more time. Once you've excluded some of your unwanted scripts, you're going to want to navigate to the Diagnostics section in Luna. This section allows you to compile the project and provides a breakdown of any compilation issues with your playable. So first things first, let's hit Compile. The window here will show you an analysis of the project using Roslyn. You can quickly obtain all compilation information. Diagnostic logs are grouped either by the CS error code or by the file on which they occur. You can change this with the Group By option. And remember, any errors that you see in this panel regarding the Unity Engine namespace actually refer to our version of the Unity Engine and therefore highlight compatibility issues between your project and Luna, i.e. an API which is unsupported by the Luna Engine. So for this example, I've included an API in this project which I know Luna does not support, and we can clearly see that in this window. So in this project, it looks like I have two errors coming from one file and actually the same line of code. A, game object does not contain a definition for create primitive, and B, the name primitive type does not exist in the current context. In this case, this is an outdated API, and I know it's actually more favorable to instead initiate a cube prefab rather than using a primitive type like this. To handle it, I'm going to use the Luna solution file. This solution file has all of your C-sharp scripts and Luna's version of the Unity DLL. This is extremely efficient as you can work in this solution file, changing the code without the need to propagate the changes back to your Unity files. So when I open the solution, I can see the same errors which were presented to me in the diagnostics window. It's up to me how I handle them, and I have a few options. If this piece of code brings no value to the playable, then just remove it. It's your simplest option, and it also reduces complexity. But of course, you probably do need the code. So the usual flow will require you to find an alternative which Luna supports. In this case, let me just switch out the method for a prefab and then rebuild in the solution. This will instantly show me if the alternative is compatible with Luna, which of course it is. Finally, as another path forwards, you can use the original code in a Unity Luna defines and have a Luna only alternative. We usually don't recommend this approach as what you see in Unity will not be what you see in Luna but can be useful if you need to maintain a single code base. That covers some of the basics of code compilation with Luna. Thank you for listening, and I'll see you next time.